I'm at my daughter's house and they love Pink Floyd. They love Led Zeppelin because I work very closely with Rod Stewart. They like the early Rod Stewart, Atlantic Crossing and things like this. And I'm hearing them play this music and it has nothing to do with what was in my rehearsal room, in my clubs. I used to have this huge old warehouse in London where everybody used to rehearse. The Floyd used to sleep on the top floor. I heard that music in its infancy. I heard it in its colorful, robust, beautiful ways. Now I'm hearing this whole thing squeezed like it's in a tube of toothpaste and a bass that sounds like an elephant's fart. It's not a bass. A bass is an instrument. It has this wonderful cadence and for dum 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 not boom 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 boom. And it was almost like, you know, seeing the ghosts of my beautiful past suddenly being all torn to shreds for only the reason that nobody has the decency to sit down and engineer a product to reproduce the, the music honestly. We've been kind of on like this de-evolution of sound where some of the modern recordings have gotten a little overly processed and, and trying to make everything sound loud. You can read about like the loudness wars and it gets kind of fatiguing after a while. So we developed Trillium with the inspiration to create a portable mobile speaker that suits today's consumers who are primarily streaming music from their phones and their tablets digitally. And we wanted to reproduce the sound that you would normally associate with a much larger traditional two-channel stereo system. So the first thing we said is, okay, what is the size? The market will only allow you to do so much. And then we brought in and partnered with some of the brightest young minds in the technology world. And we drove one another. And just when everybody said, wow, that's amazing, I banged the table, Khrushchev style, and I said, damn, no, it's not, make it better, you know? I was trying to look, I just read the Steve Jobs book, you know, so I said, damn, no, make it better. So we made it better. We had an idea to upmix the two channels, left, right, stereo, and reproduce uh, those two channels into three channels. And the three channels are then reproduced through a forward facing speaker, a speaker on the left side and on the right side. And so you have the sound waves from these three channels and it's actually kind of creating a virtual left-right speaker outside the box. So when you are at home, it doesn't sound restricted. It sounds very wide and deep and you can sit anywhere you want in the room and people are walking away saying, I didn't know my music sounded this good. Streaming is growing at around 25% per quarter, 100% per annum. And you're talking about just Spotify doing a month 20 billion hours of streaming. So the music that I was very involved in in my time was made and it was printed on vinyl. The recorded signal, we all know, is fantastic. Unfortunately, a lot of companies suddenly saw this mass lemming-like flocking towards this very accessible music. And at the same time, there was the music shift from the traditional great legends, which are now all coming back, to the different type of music, which is hip hop, EDM, garage, which was very bass driven and very treble business. So the, the beauty of the mid range where the vocals were and the warmth and the passion and the drama and the dynamics was, was missing. And this is why so many vinyl stores are opening. They're looking for the vinyl presses. They're even now rebuilding new presses. You go into Whole Foods and sure enough, they've got vinyl racks. I mean, there's a renaissance. And it's a good one because you've been in this sort of cloud of semitones. You cannot sit down and say, I am going to make something that's going to have true immersive sound, playing all the tonalities, all the modulation, all the notes, all the key tones, and give the vocal just like they're on the microphone and the harmonies. You can't, you can't say you're going to invent that. If you do, you're mad or pompous or both. We were, we were really good engineers and we got lucky and we owe a huge debt to the discovery of Trillium. It's physics, not gimmicks, and it's brought about a new way to listen to sound from a singular module. And you watch people, when they get it, they walk all around the room and they say, it sounds the same everywhere. That's Trillium. And when you found a wonderful new way to make the wheel turn, turn it.